Donald Trump hasn't even selected a secretary of state yet, but he has already turned up some international heat, breaking with long standing protocol. This is all about a very sensitive issue for China, the island of Taiwan, and it kicked off when Donald Trump picked up the phone. A seemingly ordinary press release Friday revealed a diplomatic landmine. President-elect Donald Trump spoke by phone with the president of Taiwan, something no White House has done in 35 years. The U.S. only formally recognizes the People's Republic of China and not the self-governing island. The Democratic National Committee pounced. His foolish phone call threatens our national security. The wrong message could be received, so he should be fully briefed by the State Department before those uh, communications. But top Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway balked at the criticism. President-elect Trump is fully briefed and, and fully knowledgeable about these issues uh, on an ongoing basis, regardless of who's on the other end of the phone. Trump reacted in all caps on Twitter. The president of Taiwan called me. And in another, he opined, Interesting how the U.S. sells Taiwan billions of dollars of military equipment, but I should not accept a congratulatory call. Conway insists no global drama was intended. He at least is, is having these private conversations, giving a readout here and there about them, but not trying to make policy and not trying to make waves. Donald J. Trump. Friday, Trump also took heat from Sarah Palin, who has sought a place in his administration. Palin criticized Trump's deal to use state tax breaks to keep carrier jobs in the U.S. Palin noted the relief for hundreds of workers, but slammed the plan as special interest crony capitalism. Now about that call heard around the world, China's foreign minister has already responded, describing this as a small trick by Taiwan and insisting that the long-standing policy that there is only one China on the international stage is a bedrock and must be adhered to. Chanel? Kelly, as we just heard, President-elect Trump reacted defensively, saying the Taiwan president called him. But Kelly, to be clear, these are choreographed calls. It's not like the phone just rang and he just picked the phone up. There was a decision made to receive it. Can you talk about that? Yes. The team that is working behind the scenes arranges and schedules times for these calls and sifts through which foreign leaders at what point uh, Donald Trump will speak to. Now, there's been earlier controversy about all this as well because he did not, in the very first days after the election, speak to the British Prime Minister first, uh, breaking that kind of protocol. This, of course, has far-reaching implications because of the tense relationship, complicated relationship with China. They're upset about this, and we don't yet know if this is an intentional uh, attempt by Donald Trump to adjust policy or to just be the disruptor that he talked about on the campaign trail. Chanel? Something we'll have to follow. Kelly, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.